Eric, Nikki, truly a somber day today here at Sacramento City College. You can see the Panthers are back out here at Hugh Stadium holding football practice today, even though it was a late night for these guys after hosting a vigil for their fellow teammate who passed away during or after conditioning practice yesterday. That man's name, Justin McAllister. LL or long live 68 JM spelled out in candles by those who knew Sac City College football player number 68 Justin McAllister who tragically passed away Monday night. Students on campus sharing their feelings. It's really heartbreaking to go to school and go to practice and do what you want to do and you just don't make it throughout the day. That's really sad. Sac City football players tell me they were here for a normal Monday practice before breaking off into the stadium to watch film. They say that's when coaches told them the news. Players say McAllister had collapsed and was unresponsive shortly after what they call a 20-minute conditioning practice with no pads, just helmets. They say moments before, McAllister was struggling a bit, but he told them he would be okay. Once players found out he collapsed, they were told to exit the stadium. And once outside, they said they saw medics taking McAllister away on a stretcher while giving him CPR. A moment they say Tuesday keeps running through their heads. I find that crazy because each day, like young people, more young people are like dying like, off of stuff that normally an adult would get. And they're like, you know, I feel afraid for my life now because we mostly have to take care of ourselves with a good diet and all that, you know. And then, you know, and I, I wouldn't think of, I wouldn't, in my age, I wouldn't think get, getting heart attacks or anything like that without what an adult would get. While no official cause of death has been given, players say they were told it was cardiac arrest or some sort of heart failure that caused the 7'6", 270-pound offensive lineman to go down after conditioning practice. And one that fellow City College athlete Luke Harrison says he saw frequently. Uh, I know as a wrestler, we're, we see the football team a lot. We're running the stadium a lot, so they're doing a lot of work. They're doing a lot of running right in the heat to 100 degrees. You're seeing more of it recently. You've seen the NFL players just drop in and more of it recently. So I don't know if something's going on or what's happening, but it's definitely more prevalent right now. Players say around 7.30 in the evening, they learned McAllister had died. And by 11 p.m., dozens gathered at Hughes Stadium for a vigil, one to get together and show love to the big offensive lineman who always brought a great smile and attitude to the football field. So the Sac City Panthers football team is scheduled to play a game on Saturday. You can see these guys are still out here getting their work in, but coaches tell me they're working with the McAllister family to see if playing this weekend is the right thing to do or if they would like to take the weekend off. Live in Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Zach Boweto, Fox 40 News.